up folks, it's Zack, and welcome back to my Star Wars Tips and Tricks section, and today I wanted to go a little off the beaten path that I normally do, and show you guys about something in the cartel market that I thought was very valuable and definitely worth grabbing during the time that it's on sale. Now, why am I doing this? Guys, I have told you guys before that I'm not really about cartel packs. That's not really something I want, and you've heard me say in multiple videos that I want to see things go on direct sale, especially valuable items that I think most players want. And it just so happens that one of these items has gone on for sale in the cartel market. And I want to make sure you guys knew about this. So if you guys haven't logged in recently or you haven't checked out Dolphy.net and the updates that you see there, then you may not have known that the Satil Shans armor set is now on sale as a direct sale item in the cartel market. It is on sale for you know uh, lower than normal price of 2132 cartel coins, 2132 cartel coins. This is well worth the price of admission guys. So when I talked about one of the vented lightsabers, the Kylo Ren looking uh, lightsaber that was on sale in the cartel market, I did advise against that because it was at a price of 76 to 7800 cartel coins, which is about you know, $60 of real life money. However, this entire armor set is only, you know, a little over 2000. I think that is a fantastic deal that averages out somewhere around I think the price of 20 bucks you know, or so. That's not really that bad if you have that kind of expendable income. And if you have a subscription fee and you've been, you know, just saving your cartel coins at about 500 a pop per month, then, you know, four months, you know, you basically had the amount of cartel coins for this. You know, definitely worth picking up. Now, let me show this uh, set of armor off really fast. There's a lot of videos out there to see what it looks like, but I'll show what it looks like on these two characters really quick, and you can kind of make a, your own mind. And here we are back again. So, this is the Sutil Shans armor set. I have it on my Kira Carson over here, and I also have it on my Jedi Knight over here. Now, what you're not seeing in this is how what my favorite part of this armor uh, does, which is the gloves. You don't see how they color match, but let me just go over the armor really quick, and you can kind of get an idea of uh, some of the benefits of this armor. So, first off, on either a female or a male character, one of the things you're going to notice is that this is a you know tank top style. Uh, sleeve cut off, which you don't really see very much at the game. It also has a high collar that goes up around the neck uh, that's loose and open in the front. It is form fitting. Uh, it's, it is not obviously a Jedi robe, uh, and it's one of those things that actually, for your characters, uh, sorry, but most of the robes in the game make your characters' butts look really big. This does not. This actually does a really good job of keeping the form of your character and the lines of your character look really good. Also, I'd mention too that the boots are very unique in the fact that there's armor plating in the front, uh, not in the back, but it's a light and very obvious uh, set of armor. And it also has these really cool looking straps and buckles in the back. I'd also mention too that it is thigh high boots, so if you do like those on your, uh, on your female characters, it does come up about to the mid thigh. It's also a three color setup, so right now it is green, gold, and, uh, green, gold, and brown, I wanna say. And so if you are, you know, color matching around to things, you'll have those three colors pop up. If you do put in a dye module, uh, say like black and blue, then you'll still have some of these gold lines popping up throughout the character. Uh, I especially like this on female characters. I actually think this looks really, really sharp to uh, have on a companion. And buying this from the cartel market and unlocking it in your collections makes this available to all the characters you'll ever play. Very, very high value there. Also. These pieces typically could go for millions of credits on the GTN when it's off sale like this. So from now, I would say probably for the next few months, you should see uh, you know pieces of this set being up on the GTN, hopefully at lowered rates, because I think a lot of people are going to spend cartel coins, stock up on a few of these sets, and try to sell them off later at high prices. Uh, if you have the cartel coins to do this now, I would absolutely pick up this set. I think it looks really, really good. So that is item one that I wanted to mention about on the cartel market that I thought was worth grabbing, and I'm going to switch over to another character, and I'll show you the second. The next thing I wanted to show that is available in the cartel market, and I definitely think is worth grabbing if you have some cartel coins flying around, is these three hairstyles. They're a little bit new. You haven't really seen them very much in the game thus far, and I definitely think they're worth grabbing, especially if you're one of those players that has been playing for a long time and is looking for some new options on how to spice up your characters a little bit. I actually think that all three of these hairstyles have a place within this game. Let me take a look, and I'll show you a little bit closer version of these. I'm using a female character right now, the three different hairstyles all work on a female, 
only two of which actually work on a male, and so I thought this would be probably the better way to show them off. So let's actually start off here. This is the, the new hairstyle. It's a short hair length style. On I definitely think this one looks more feminine than male. Uh, however, I did play around with this a little bit on a male character, made the hair blue, changed the face around a little bit. It kind of made a very anime looking character. So if you're into that, then this hairstyle might actually still work for you. On the whole though, I do think this is more feminine looking hair. Uh, you know, it does have kind of a part through the center line of the hair, so some of it's going forward, some of it's going back, and then it's kind of got this like duck bill thing happening in the back. The thing that makes it unique though is that it has these spare strands of hair kind of coming out of the hairstyle. If you look at a lot of the other hairstyles, it basically looks like it's just plastic molded into shape. You know, it doesn't look necessarily terrible, and a lot of times, uh, even so, even though it looks kind of plasticky and molded, you'll still see some bounce and some movement in uh, in the hairstyles as they as your character moves around a little bit. Uh, with this particular hairstyle, I do kind of like the extra strands kind of going around, and you know, I like the way that this one kind of frames the face. So, you know, depending on what color you use, or uh, you know, or you know, if you want to use this hairstyle, I actually think this one's kind of a neat you know, alternative to most of the female hairstyles, which usually have like kind of buns in the hair or, you know, uh, tiaras and gems and stuff like that. If you're a guy who likes to play, you know, female tunes or a lady who likes to play female tunes, this is an option for you. The other hairstyles I wanted to show really quick. Whoops, wrong way. Okay, I'm trying to get back to my the redhead color. Here we go. All right, and the next one is this guy here. And this is one of the new short haircuts. I actually really like this one for, say, militaristic looking guys, uh, Sith warriors, you can use this on a Jedi Knight. This one actually has this really neat uh, little ponytail in the back, very much dig it. And if you're using some of the guy complexion uh, versions, you can have a guy who has stubble on his face and uh, hair you know, on the sides of his head, you can kind of see a, a version of it here. You know, I'm going to hover over this so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. Uh, definitely gives that you know, a little bit more mileage. You know, on a, on a guy, but it actually looks pretty decent on a lady as well. Especially, I could imagine, uh, you know, some really cool looks for this for uh, you know, definitely bounty hunters and such. You know, Sith female warriors, etc. Anyway, uh, I like this hairstyle a lot. I definitely think it's worth grabbing. The third hairstyle of the bunch is actually now available to the player, but it's actually been in the game before. If you look at my companion here, Shea Vizsla, she already has this hairstyle. I really liked it on her. It was something that we didn't have for player characters, and now they have given us that option. And with the Shea Vizsla hairstyle, there's one really neat kind of advantage to it. I did play around with it on one of my characters who's wearing it. And uh, it is a shoulder length hairstyle that does actually sway back and forth to the left and the right as your character runs back and forth. So even though it looks like it's plastic and molded, there's actually two layers to this hair and it does actually sway around a bit as your character moves, which is cool. It also frames the face very nicely and color matches extremely well. You know, this is definitely a hairstyle that if you play a female tune and you are kind of tired of the you know, of some of the other looks for hair, you know, you, maybe you weren't really attached to looking like a Vulcan or something like that, then uh, th this one's definitely a really cool option for you. So again, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video really quick. Uh, there's, again, two things in the cartel market that I think are worth grabbing. For sure, grab the Satil Shans armor set. There's only three sets in the game that I've ever said I wanted to see on a direct sale. It was Satil Shans armor set, Zoxen's armor set and the Revan Reborn armor set. So this is one of the trifecta. If you guys, you know, don't buy this now, I'm pretty sure you're going to regret it later because it's going to be much, much more expensive to get. Also, uh, I would definitely recommend grabbing the human hairstyles options. Just to have them in your toolkit for a character creation is kind of fun. You know, it can spice up the look of a character you already have or give your new character a new look and, you know, let you kind of RP and play around with that a little bit. All right, guys, I hope you're having a great time with the game, and I will see you next time.